Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shell Razor from Playmates Toys. That's right, the turtles wouldn't be the turtles without some sort of party wagon or turtle van or whatever you want to call it. It's had several different incarnations through all the different Ninja Turtle series, but the fact remains that they've always got an awesome vehicle to shell out some justice to the bad guys. So the new one for the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series coming out is called the Shell Razor. And that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at today. Now before we look at the actual vehicle itself, I want to take a look at the box art on the packaging. That's right, this actually has some really impressive artwork on it. First thing to note about this is the box is very bright and colorful. It uses that same bright purple and green color scheme we've seen on the single blister carded figures, but there's just something about this that really jumps off the shelf and grabs your attention. It's brightly colored, it's got some really cool artwork on the front that is very reminiscent of the vintage Ninja Turtles stuff. It shows the shell razor as well as the Ninja Turtles actually riding inside of it and using the action features on it. And one of the things I think is really neat on there is it is artwork, but the artwork is based on the look of the turtles in action figure form, not necessarily from the new animated series. If you look off to the side, you can see images of the turtles from the new cartoon, but the artwork of the turtles actually on the shell razor look like the action figures, and I think that is just really cool looking. I love me some good box art. It's just not something we really see very often these days, so I'm always really happy to get it. Now the back of the box kind of gives you the exact same scene from the front, but this time it's a photograph of the van itself, as well as all of the action figures around it, and it gives you some information on the shell razor. So when you first pull this thing out of the box, there is some assembly required. It's not too difficult to put together at all. Uh, there is an included sheet of instructions that will help guide you through the process. And then comes the fun part of putting on the stickers. Yeah, talk about something that really harkens back to the old days. It comes with a sheet of like 36 stickers and some very elaborate instructions on how to put them on there. So if you enjoy putting stickers on, you're probably going to love this part. If you don't like stickers, well, <laughs> sorry guys, you're going to need those stickers. I actually love the stickers. I think it's a great throwback. It really brought me back to putting the stickers on the old vehicles back in the day and it all turned out really well and it really helps to decorate this thing. So once you got it all done, this is it folks. This is the Shell Razor. Now it's a very different looking vehicle. It, it kind of reminds me of the one that we saw in like the 2003 era. Uh, it is a little bit of a departure from the vintage party wagon. Uh, this one is more of like an armored vehicle, which is really cool. So there's a lot of great detailing going on here. First of all, the main colors on there are a brown. It's got some highlights of some green plastic on there. The stickers are what really brings out all the different colors. You look at all the stickers, there's some great details going on. You can see lots of painted little designs on the sides. And in typical Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fashion, there's a lot of really funny stuff too. So you got just the classic things like Evil Beware and Mutants Rule. <laughs> and then the back, you've got things that say things like Danger, Ooze, and you know, just some regular keep off stickers. So I thought that was neat because that's absolutely a throwback to some of the old stickers we saw in like the old party wagon, like Foot Stinks, all that fun stuff. So the stickers do a great job of sprucing up the vehicle and helping to bring out the details. There are some great sculpts on there, uh, lots of little rivets around all the windows, everything like that. So it's a very nice looking uh, vehicle. You can see the front has got some barred windows that show up to the, you, you can see through the windows there to the inside, but they are barred off. Uh, and there are multiple ways to get into the party wagon itself for the shell razor. See, I keep calling it the party wagon. I am stuck in the past. Uh, one good thing about this is it's very good material. It's nice and solid. Uh, it's lightweight, but it feels very sturdy. Uh, it is not falling apart at all, so I don't feel like any of the parts are just going to fall off on me. Everything that I assembled locked into place very tightly. The wheels hold tight. Everything is very sturdy. So that's going to be great for kids that want to play with it and bash it around a little bit. Uh, it's going to hold together really well. 
And you notice that the tires, uh, they spin very well. They're just plastic tires. Uh, they do have some stickers in the middle to kind of give it some nice little details there, but they're just hard plastic, but they spin very well, which means you can get some great rolling going on there. You can see that thing will really glide across a nice smooth surface. So that is really cool. One of the other details I like, the bumper in the back is just some barrels strapped to the back of it. I thought that was a really nice touch. Uh, it's very turtley. You know, they use lots of different pieces to piece together their vehicles and stuff. It's very, very cool. So lots of different little things going on here. First of all, you've got one door in the front. It's just got a little latch so you can pull it down and open it up in the front. And this will allow you to stand your figures on the inside. So let's go ahead and get some of our Ninja Turtles out here to start playing with the vehicle. So this is sized for the five inch scale figures, which is the Nickelodeon line. Uh, the classics being seven inches are going to stand actually about the same height as this thing. So they're not going to be uh, compatible but this is meant more for these turtles. Now, you can see there's a little peg on the front here when you fold the door open. You've got the little peg so you can stand your figures on the front. It's great for displaying the toys there. That way you can get your turtle standing on the front, getting ready to get inside of the shell razor. Uh, I will note that the door is short, and even though the turtles themselves are very short figures, uh, you do still kind of have to stuff them in there, and it is really short height on the inside, so trying to get them to stand up on the inside is a bit of a chore. Uh, that's just, it, it's possible. It's not impossible to stand them up in there. And actually the level kind of drops towards the back. So it is easier to stand them up in the back than it is to stand them up in the front here. Um, another way that you can get them in is through this latch on the top. The top hatch folds open up there. And that gives you another space to stand a turtle inside. Uh, now you will notice that it just drops straight down in. There's no platform or anything to stand on. Uh, the box art showed Donatello hanging out the top hatch and using the gun. Uh, if you do that, just note there's nothing for the turtles to actually stand on. Uh, so you're going to have to position him so he's kind of hanging on to the top there or hanging on to the blaster on top. That way you can get them standing out of the, the top hatch. Now, obviously, it's possible. You can see I did it, and it looks really cool. And that way you can use the little turret gun on the top, which is capable of spinning around, and it does fire a projectile. There's a little push button right here, which launches off your projectile missile. So those are always a lot of fun. Got to love that. Blast the foot with some of your missiles there. Uh, but like I said, so there's no actual platform to stand them on, but this does allow you a good way to stand your figures on the inside. There's a lot more room in this back part, and you can get them standing upright. And this is a great place where you can just start stuffing all your guys on the inside there, close up the hatch, and you're ready to roll. Now there is one more spot where a door can open, and this is where a fun little action feature comes to play. Uh, you'll notice there's this little button on the top right here. It's the little exhaust pipe thing. When I push that, it shot the door open. Um, what we've got here is this cool little contraption, which I'm going to show you how to use with our Leonardo. He's going to demonstrate it for me here. Uh, you can get any of your turtle figures to hold on to this. And then what you want to do now is you want to wind it up. So. You can kind of wind your Leonardo around clockwise there. It's, it'll click a little bit when you've got them all wound. And then if you push it in, you'll notice it locks in place. And then we close that door up again. Now, here comes the fun action feature part. So, you got your shell razor cruising down the road. All of a sudden, dun dun dun, Shredder shows up. And the foot soldiers. What are we going to do now that Shredder and the foot soldiers are here? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pull the shell razor up. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to push the exhaust pipe here. Oh, yeah! Take that foot! Uh, stomped! <laughs> That's a fun little feature. The turtle flies out, he spins around kicking, knocks over your foot soldiers. And then, of course, you can just shove them right back in there, close the door, and the turtles are on their way to action. So, very fun little action feature. I really like that. It doesn't get in the way of anything. You know, it's just fun. Uh, it reminds me, again, going back old school, we remember the old uh, party wagon had a similar feature where the door flew open to knock over the foot soldiers, drop the bombs out. So this is uh, very reminiscent of that. I really like that. It's a, it's a cool little feature, makes for some great play, and we've got an awesome little party wagon here, a shell razor. Now, like I, I mentioned a minute ago, this back part is nice and big and open up here. Uh, you can really get a lot of action figures put inside this. So another thing that kids are going to like about this, or even maybe us collectors who kind of want to store these things or take them around places, look at this. You can stuff all these dudes inside, close it up, 
it stores your figures for you. Bam, you're ready to go have some adventures with the turtles. It's fantastic. I love it. So very, very well done. All right, guys, it's comparison time. So I keep talking about the vintage party wagon. I might as well get that up here so we can take a look at them side by side. So, of course, the party wagon, iconic, right? That's the classic turtle van. Everybody knows the way it looks. But let's get them up here side by side. You can see the scales are very similar with the new Shell Razor being just a little bit longer. They stand the same height. Um, they're very similar, actually, in design, even though they're changed up a little bit. They both got the doors that fly open on the side. Um, we still got that whole van element going on. So I think this is a very, very cool update of a classic Ninja Turtle vehicle. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new Shell Razor from the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. So far, I am very happy with everything that Playmates is doing here. It's got some great elements of nostalgia for all of us collectors who had these when we were kids back in the 80s and 90s. It's got a lot of great new elements in it that are going to get new kids interested in Turtles. So there's just so much win going on with this line that I couldn't be happier. The Shell Razor vehicle is in stores right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.